The rumored connection between Mike Tyson and Diddy is one of the few revelations in the enormous realm of celebrity gossip and speculation that has garnered as much curiosity as this supposed connection. Fans and critics are eager to learn the truth behind their connection that has come to light due to recent occurrences and provocative utterances that have generated a storm of suspicions. But what is it all about? Well, join us as we explore the complex web involving Mike Tyson, Diddy, and the whispered secrets that have captured the general public's interest in this video. As rumors of their strange relationships spread farther and further, a number of troubling questions began to surface. Were these occurrences the outcome of a close connection that had grown unhealthy? Or was there something deeper and more nefarious going on beneath the surface? There is a lot of conjecture going around as fans and critics alike investigate the mysterious realm that these two renowned figures inhabit. It is also absolutely necessary to investigate Mike Tyson's troubled past in order to have a complete comprehension of the context of this convoluted incident. You see, Tyson has always been a magnet for controversy, whether it be due to his famed boxing career or his well-documented battles with substance addiction and erratic behavior. People are speculating about the motivations behind his new admissions, and the fact that he has a history of misdeeds has added gasoline to the fire. An unexpected turn of events led to Mike Tyson's podcast, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson, becoming the venue for a heated discussion between Tyson and the rapper Boosie Badass. So when Tyson confronted Boosie about his transphobic slurs, the conversation took a turn that was completely unexpected. This confrontation not only shed light on Tyson's attitude toward LGBTQ causes, but also spurred more curiosity regarding his personal sexual inclinations. Tyson's position on LGBTQ issues was revealed due to this encounter. Then again, questions regarding Mike Tyson's sexuality have arisen as a recurrent subject amidst the speculations that continue to swirl around his personal life as the rumor mill continues to turn. Tyson has been the subject of a number of charges and scandals throughout the course of his career, which have fed the rumors. Then again, the mysterious partnership of Mike Tyson and Diddy has held the attention of the general public for a number of years. Their relationship has always been shrouded in secrecy, with many people holding differing opinions regarding the scope of their friendship. But this new piece of information has brought everything to a completely different level. A conversation between the two is shown in the video, and it is the kind of exchange that can only be defined as unorthodox and odd to the extreme. Um, I don't know when I'm coming back. I'm just, I'm into, I have so many different ventures, and I'm, I'm into the music business now. Are oh, you really? Yeah. And hopefully Puffy helped me out, you know. <laughs> no. There are a lot of different ideas floating around about the real nature of their bond, as fans and critics alike examine every frame. Some people even believe that Mike Tyson, ever the astute watcher, realized that Diddy was uncomfortable with his contact and then took advantage of the situation by taking advantage of it. Tyson has long been a symbol of uncertainty due to his well-known event involving biting his opponent's ear and his struggles with substance usage. Diddy, on the other hand, has developed an image for himself as a larger-than-life entrepreneur who enjoys crazy parties and an opulent lifestyle. This persona has helped him build a successful business. Within the context of this setting, we attempt to make sense of the strange interplay between the two of them. Yet, similar to how one should take rumors and scandals in general, it is vital to approach these theories with a fair dosage of skepticism. It's possible that the whole truth will never be revealed, in which case we'll be left with a heady cocktail of mystery and enigma for the rest of our lives. After all, in the world of fame and money, the distinction between truth and fiction is sometimes blurred, so anything can happen really. Now, fans and detractors alike are left wondering what the reality is behind the headlines after these two celebrities found themselves at the center of tabloid fodder. 
And of course, the notorious rapper 50 Cent, who has never been one to shy away from a quarrel, is also stoking the flames of the conflict. He has made comments about Diddy, including the insinuation that he is gay, and he has even posted photographs on Instagram that are sexually suggestive. The statements of 50 Cent, which were laced with insinuation and mocking, have given gasoline to the rumor mill, which was already burning strongly. Still, we need to take such accusations with a grain of salt, as they are the result of a conflict that has been going on between the two artists for a long time. On the other end of it, though, Wendy Williams, who is widely regarded as the reigning queen of urban gossip, also added her voice to the chorus of rumors. Throughout her career as a radio disc jockey and a television personality, she frequently dropped hints about the nature of Diddy's sexual orientation. Yet, it is vital to note that Diddy and Williams have since reconciled. And so, this has caused some people to wonder whether or not there was any truth behind her previous insinuations, or whether or not it was merely part of the game to gossip about the couple. Having said that, for a number of years, Mike Tyson's private life has also been the focus of speculation and interest among fans and commentators. But despite the accusations that have been circulating about him, Tyson has made the decision not to respond to or consider these charges. Instead, he has kept his attention on his professional life and the emotional relationships in his life. With all things considered, it is essential to keep in mind that these public personalities have the right to have their private lives left alone. So there's that. Anywho, as for what Mike Tyson is up to nowadays, well, here's what we know. After suffering a defeat at the hands of Kevin McBride in 2005, Mike Tyson made the decision to end his career in the sport. The heavyweight reportedly went bankrupt and became addicted to drugs in the years that followed, which made him difficult times. Today, both financially and mentally, he is in a much better condition than he was before. Nowadays, the celebrity is active in the cannabis industry and serves as the host of the incredibly successful Hotboxing podcast. That's right. Tyson is the sole proprietor of his own marijuana business. In the beginning of this year, he even distributed gummies in the form of an ear, which caused him to go viral. Additionally, Mike Tyson is making a name for himself in the podcasting world. The former heavyweight publishes new episodes every week, and there are guests and co-hosts from various fields on each one. So what do you think of the unsettling controversy? Could there be a potential history between Tyson and Diddy? Let us know in the comments below while making sure you hit the bell icon. See you next time!